Hello, my name is James Jeffries, and I'm the Engineering Manager at Amarinth. This video is going to help you to remove, to clean, and then correctly reinstall the line bearing flush pipework. The required tools will be listed in the description box. Please ensure full PPE is worn where necessary. The lubrication feed pipe can be found on your pump in the location now shown. The disassembly process starts by undoing the hex screw using an M10 spanner. Remove screw along with washer and place both items to one side. Slide the bracket up away from the column. The feed pipe is threaded, so using a suitable pair of Stilsons, loosen the pipe by rotating clockwise. Finish by hand releasing it from the delivery pipe and remove. Place feed pipe in a vise and carefully remove the retaining bracket and then place this to one side. The feeder pipe assembly has a round end cap, complete with pre-drilled hole. This delivers a measured amount of process fluid to the line bearings. Whilst the feeder pipe assembly is in the vise, Using Stilson's, remove the end cap by rotating anti-clockwise. Special attention should be given to cleaning the cap, ensuring it's free from blockage. Using an appropriate degreaser, remove any residual thread sealant. Thoroughly clean the pipe internals. Once clean, rinse each part to remove all signs of degreaser. Thoroughly dry both items. Failure to do this may impair later application of thread sealant. Whilst the feed pipe is in the vise, apply the sealant evenly across the thread. It's recommended that gloves are worn during this activity. Now apply the sealant activator. This should be completed in a well vented area. Before the sealant sets, fit cap to the feed pipe, tighten clockwise until hand tight. Using Stilson's, tighten by one further complete turn. Using a marker pen, draw a guideline clearly marking the position of the end cap hole. Slide the retaining bracket onto the feed pipe assembly. Now apply sealant to the thread, using your finger to spread evenly. Once again in a well vented area, spray the activator to set the sealant. Reinstate feed pipe, rotating anti-clockwise. Using the guideline as a reference, ensure the end cap nozzle points down towards the bearings. Once hand tight, use Stilson's to tighten by one complete turn. Slide the retaining bracket down the feed pipe to mate with the column. Now fit the hex screw and washer and tighten using a spanner. Finally, secure the clamp by tightening the pan head screw. You've now successfully removed the bearing lubrication feed pipe, cleaned the individual components and reinstated the feed pipe assembly. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it's been beneficial. Other useful videos are available. Please visit the Amaranth channel and click subscribe.